Turns out in zone two, if you're looking at a curve, so it's predominance of fat utilization with a little bit of carbohydrate utilization in zone two. So you are getting into a higher fat burn without escaping fat burn. So you're still using fat burn if you can stay in zone two, right? When you escape it, what happens is a certain threshold, you'll no longer utilize fat for energy and you'll be exclusively dependent on carbohydrate utilization. All right, so let's take a look. When I'm trying to get people to understand, you really do need to know what your dialed in exact heart rate numbers are for zone two if you really are trying to increase your fat utilization and maintain it. If you're not doing that and you don't know what your numbers are, your success is gonna be much less likely. So let me show that to you again. It's counterintuitive. There's a lot of people in the health industry who would rather you not know and understand this and keep showing up to the gym saying you're doing zone two, but there's no way that you're zone two. So when I hear that gyms, for example, somehow are doing some type of strength training, here's my common thing that I'll hear. People go to a gym, yes doc, I'm getting, an, I get a kick-ass workout, pardon my French. I really do, like, I am drenched, I am pounded, I feel great. And then we look at their body composition month over month over month, and they keep doing the same thing. Their lab indicators from a cholesterol perspective, their morning cortisol level, maybe even their insulin may not be moving. Okay, their fasting insulin level. All right. And more importantly, again, their body composition. All right. So I care about zone two and the potential impact even from a lipid utilization perspective. All right. So it's not just about fat burning. I'm trying to see if we can metabolically impact people by doing the right thing effectively. So when I hear somebody say that and or, and I say, what does that look like? And they're like, oh, well, we, we do chest. We do all these exercises and we go as fast as we can and in between, my trainer has me do some, uh, some hit or some type of cardio in between. Then we go back and we do another round of strength training. I don't know what that person is doing because it's not true strength training. It's really confusing the body. It's trying to switch into cardio, saying they're doing fat burning. There's no way, I just showed you, let me show you again, that that person who is doing some type of cardio and if they don't have something on their wrist watching their heart rate and if their heart rate zones are not accurate, Let's go back to here again. There is no way that that person is burning any type of fat during that. Worse, if you're getting a huge cortisol bump as you're working out doing something that's higher intensity and going into glucose burn, carbohydrate burn exclusively, not fat burn, you're confusing even from a skeletal muscle mass recovery perspective, what the hell is going on? The workouts that work best are the ones that you keep it simple. It doesn't mean that they're ineffective. People conflate simple with easy. That's not necessarily what's going on here.